All right, episode 63 is in the books. We checked out... Crazy Rich Asians. Yes, review. Crazy Rich a- Crazy Rich Asians. Did a little review. I figured out what that word was at the very end of the podcast. You're going to be like, oh, he's struggling really hard to figure out this out. It's uh, Lumpia Shanghai. So uh, we are talking about how... Yeah, Asian, dumplings, Asian, yeah, dumplings, dumplings, samosas, samosas, and then we have lumpia, yeah, which is like our version of a stuffed uh, thing. Cool. But yeah, so um, check it out, listen to it. This is like a great movie. All right, merchandise. Yeah, yeah uh, pick up some teas on Teespring, shop.lmfire.com. Uh, yeah, you can get them there. Support the podcast by fish. Subscribing, commenting, uh, yeah, liking, liking, liking that, yeah. More video reply? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, nobody didn't know me video reply yet. <laughs> it's going to take some time. It's going to take some time. It's going to take generational wealth. Ah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I got it. Yeah. Cool. Here we go. Three, two, one, boom. And we are back with another episode of Socratic Gamers. This is episode 63. Mm-hmm. 63. Nice. And uh, it's a very special one because this episode hits quite close to home in that we are Asian. And we saw, what movie we see this? Crazy Rich Asians. Wait, no. wait can we just yeah. do an update real quick? All right, cool. I know I did the podcast about that, but remember I said if there's an update, I'll just mention it. Update. Oh, yeah, yeah okay. Sure, Tesla sure. update. Yeah. Uh, just came out like a couple few, um, a few hours ago. Oh, my like God. Yesterday. Breaking news. Like yesterday. Breaking news. Uh, he, he is not going private. Oh no! <laughs> Why would happen? No, you talk to investors and all that like stuff. Scar? They're like, uh, no, 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 no. They, they would have joined, but anyway, I don't want to go in further. I just that was it. That was it. All right, Let's cool, cool. Focus on what we need. Maybe we'll talk about it next week. So, uh, yeah, this is a movie review in which we talk about. You no, know, we score it, talk about it, score it again, see if we sway the other person's opinion. <laughs> I always they, say that. me on this one. I'm like, you're not Asian, <laughs> Vish. Are you Oriental? No. No, that that is. <laughs> I'm not even Oriental. Am I? I'm Oriental. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I don't think they would consider. Uh... No, no, I am Oriental, right? Because we t- we had this conversation. Because I was like, no, I'm a Pol- Polynesian. You know, and they're Oriental. Uh, I'm like, damn. You're like a mix of both. I don't a know. mix of both. A bag of tricks. I like it. Okay, so. Um, well, Oriental is s- not a good phrase, I think. Right? Was it what? not like a good Oriental? Thing? Yeah. No, I come from the Orient. We're like at the very edge of the world. I think it was so it's more just like the, the slur of it or something. Oh, I guess. All right. Anyways. So yeah. <laughs> so this is a really good, really good movie. What did you score it? Uh. Let's see, I enjoyed it. Now, did I enjoy it because of these cultural things? Is that, I know. Do I do I score it that way? Do I score it as oh, a movie? With, with your bias, you mean? Because but my of bias? Your bias? Well, I mean, but it's, isn't all scores? I, I guess. I was saying fun. to uh, a friend of ours, Ray. I was like, it's like our Asian Black Panther. Ah, uh, yeah. You know yeah. What I, mean? like, well, I think that's right? that's that. That was what I had read about. Oh no, wait, really? Yeah, something like that. that. Like, oh, okay, that's like, crazy. Like, like that kind of cultural thing. Yeah, it's it's yeah. like it's like the yeah. Asian Black Panther. Yeah. Yeah. Not not like in the like the struggle or whatever, but like everything about it was stuff we could relate to being Asian. Yes. Yeah. So what's your score? So I will give that an eight. Ooh, an eight. Can you guess my score? A ten? Ooh, good job, man. Yeah, ten. I was going to say, like, I thought you were going to go for, like, 15, because I always go, like, 15 oh, right. or 10. Oh, well, you know, right. crazy. But, <laughs> I like, thought we were stopping that. But... Yeah, we are stopping that. No, it's a 10 out of 10. I, I give it a 10 out of 10, right. because it's, um, yeah. I, well, all right, go, <laughs> you might swear you, me, but yeah. All right, so, I'm, so I'm, you, I'm, I'm up to the swaying here. <laughs> so, so why did you, what did you like about the movie? Uh, just the like all the tropes they hit and mm, and true. the jokes. It's just you know, and it was like perfectly timed. A lot of the things. One of my favorite lines is when he's like he's using the accent. He's like, "Oh, you're from <laughs> America." Right. I'm just kidding. I don't actually have an accent. That uh, was brutal. I I <laughs> cried because that that is what you would expect. Yeah. So hitting those tropes, right? See, that's like you'd have to play that kind of role before if you were in an American movie. True, yeah, yeah, But then sure. they're kind of, like, making fun of that. Or, or even in the fact that they made, not like, Elvis. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Uh, or, or the, the, you must eat. You must oh. eat. Lo- There's a lot oh, of starving yes, people yes, in yes, America. Yes. That was so brutal. <laughs> Look at her. You want to be skinny like her? Oh, that was so brutal. Yeah. No, Mom. That was so funny. 
Yeah, those, oh, those, those are good. Yeah, those, all of those jokes. Or, or like how they had to go um, get the blessing of the parents, filial, filial piety. Um, like you, you're, you have to like venerate those who are older than you. Yeah. Like, you know, respect them. Yeah, and that's quite, yeah, that's quite cultural too. Yeah, it's Asia, really cultural. And then they, they save face. My, my favorite part of the movie is. She's like, oh, how-? yeah, that was uh, one of them. That was a that really like, oh, like that was that was a very again. like because they're they're that's where like the Eastern like spiritual philosophy. It's funny because it's like you know uh, we talk about like especially in the West and like spiritual circles. It's like oh, I got to learn from like Eastern cultures. But watch that movie. That is literally yeah. Eastern perspective, right? You know, they, yes. they like it's it's not hyperbole maybe they did a little i actually wouldn't even say it's hyperbole like that is literally how they maybe the richness like how but i wouldn't even but say it was with the richness to, yeah it was it wasn't yeah the richness no, no, like no no but even the richness isn't hyperbole because yeah. remember when we were walking home because we live in a predominantly asian area yeah it's like they had uh audis and like lamborghinis out <laughs> which were like souped up by the children which had like devil horns remember and it was like <laughs> spikes over so like what the oh, hell? Yeah, who, who yeah, needs yeah. that yeah it's crazy but like that that is they go very ostentatious you know but it's like what do you do with all that money i guess but yeah true 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 so uh one of the things yeah i, I like I, I like when we were going into the movie your yeah. your view was i was like oh no, no, no it's gonna so, be like all the other kind yeah, of rom so so that that was that was the thing it's like when i when i i did i personally didn't want to watch the movie because i was like oh, okay i i'm I, I like watch a lot of romantic comedies yeah um, and, uh, oh, our dog's making a little guest appearance. Um, I, I watched like a lot of romantic comedies myself and mm-hmm. like, it, they all kind of follow the same like story arc, right? you know, like somebody's going to cheat on the other person and they're going to get over it, blah, blah, blah. Like, you know, so like very, um, it kind of had that, but it wasn't the main character. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, the cheat. Yeah, that's true. It was, it wasn't the main character. Yeah. yeah but like, that's typically how rom, right. rom-coms yeah. go, you know, like, yeah. You go through some trial and tribulation, blah, blah, blah. But this one was more about, like, mixing Western with Eastern philosophies, mm-hmm. you know? And, like, uh, that's what I really liked about it. It was, is how do you get over the overbearing parents? How do you do all this other stuff? Oh. <laughs> oh, all right. Um, yeah, so, yeah, stuff like that. It was, like, it yeah. was very, um, I would say it was very, it, it took a different approach to the rom-com. Uh, okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. It was like when they said the whole thing about like, oh, you Americans, you follow your passions and like happiness is an illusion. It's like that really is Eastern philosophy. Yeah, yeah. It's like you do it for the generations. Why are you so selfish mm-hmm. in focusing on your own individual happiness when like you can create something that furthers a generation? You know what I really liked? How, yeah. how they opened the movie with that quote um, by, I forgot, uh, who is the guy? The explorer, like Magellan or something. So, yeah, yeah, Magellan. yeah, it was, yeah. Like, it was like a famous explorer, and then he said, um, uh, "Let let China sleep, for when she awakes, her beauty will be something like uncontained or something like that." Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was like yeah. that is how China is. Like, like even when we were learning in business, mm. um, there's there's the Eastern approach to business, yeah. and there's the Western approach. Western approach is all about like making the money in the now, mm-hmm. but the Eastern approach is like you you take your time with it. You know, old money, you know, yeah. which is like what they what they touched upon in the movie. It's like that yeah. really is the like yeah. that is the lasting yeah. money. That's why they could do ridiculous things with it. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm sure that's the same as like in Saudi Arabia too with their oil money. You know, it's like the the children didn't make that money. That's like generational wealth. Yeah, you know, true. So I really like that. But the movie. What, what do you what do you think? Uh, so I liked the, uh, the different characters there. There was like the his cousins and stuff, or his. Oh yeah, they played different stereotypes. The different, uh, oh, that the, was so. The, what was the one? The guy that had um, when he was taking a picture, like kept what, taking a photo of him. Yeah, no, like what was the pose he kept saying? Like, oh, optimal, uh, optimal angles. angles. Yeah, <laughs> that's so true. Optimal <laughs> angles. Uh, the the one I liked was uh, that that jerk cousin, who's like, oh, he's in tech startup. If, so basically, if you lose your password, he can find it for you. And it was like, oh, uh, that was so demeaning. But they do that. <laughs> like, Asian cultures do do that. It, it's like it's like tough love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Like, they, they love you, your family, but, like, they're going to give you crap. You know? Like, yeah. when the mom was, like, when she saw her son for the first time, she's like, you need a haircut. You look mm, tired. Yeah. You know, it's like, that yeah. is what, you know, are you eating? Right, yeah. You know, that's, like, that's very general. Uh, like, Asian. Yeah. Yeah. You know? 
So it's like, but then like, I wonder how, I wonder how like Western perspective will take. I mean, like, even though like she said in the movie, it's like, um, the girl was like, oh, but mom, I'm like, I'm, but I, I'm Chinese, you know, I'm more yeah. Chinese, like the American girl. Yeah, yeah. She's like, I'm more Chinese than anyone because like, I'm like stereotypical Chinese because like I'm an mm. economics professor, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And they're like, no, you're like, you're Chinese in appearance, but in your heart and your mind, you're not. And then like seeing it, it's like, yeah, we, we touch upon like slight things. Yeah. You know, even though we're like, oh yeah, that's very Eastern. It's like, we still don't know the full totality of it, you know? Mm. I mean, like I've mm. never been... Like, because we're in the West, like, my parents have, have given me freedom to, like, choose. Yeah. You know, they've always been, like, it's always been tough love, but it's, like, you still have the choice. Whereas, like, him in the movie, he had no choice. And, like, that's more... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's more customary, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, you, you groom your child for a specific position. Yeah. Yeah. And you're always trying to make it out of, like... And, like, the how the, the mother didn't, like... Like, it happened for the third time now. Yeah. yeah. The, the mother doesn't like the daughter. You know, because she she wasn't measuring up. Mm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There's a lot of. It was interesting to see all these different. But then it makes you ask, like, what's the best approach, west or east? You know. Right. Uh, I mean, they kind of had. A, they tried I, to answer it, but like. It, it's like it, it's like a mix of both, I guess. But at the same time, it's like I kind of. I see validity in the eastern perspective. Yes, I guess it would be more like it makes sense if you're still in the east. Like these I, perspectives. Oh, true, true, true. And, oh, but uh, sorry, quick pause. I, I was actually listening to a podcast, a Joe Rogan podcast, yeah. with this um, doctor girl, and she's talking about like Asian cultures. Mm. Oh, right. I she, also saw a little Asian, bit of that. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. Weird timing. Like, it, just, it just it was just on. You know, yeah. I didn't. I didn't even like, even the weird, weirdest timing was also like the Netflix release of uh, an Asian lead in the rom com too. Was it like oh, a more of a high school rom com? No, no, I know, but that was also at the same. It was yeah, the same yeah. weekend that it came out. This movie. Yeah, that's kind of weird. Or is it? Is it? But the, weird timing, or is it our brains just noticing it more? You know what I mean? Now that it's in our I field. I mean, it, for them to have both at the same time is weird, right? True. Yeah, yeah, true, true, true. In true. general, <laughs> but um, but so in that she was saying that like in Asian countries. Yeah. Right, I'm just gonna quickly check. Quick pause. We're gonna create a cut here. Oh. Uh, and the pause is back all right so uh we did a quick pause check on our dog but as soon as i got up she was actually right beside us the whole time (laughs) um she's looking for love okay so um we're talking about um eastern perspective what was i just talking about it'll come back well no Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, okay. The Joe Rogan podcast. So sometimes you have to, like, let it sit, and then it'll just come <laughs> back like a like a lightning bolt, you know what I mean? Yeah. So um, in the thing, she was saying that, especially in Asian cultures, discipline is... Um, holy singing. Uh, <laughs> um, discipline is... Um, uh, it's, like, ingrained into the culture, so you learn it very early. Yeah. Right? Whereas in Western cultures you have to figure out discipline on your own so it's either you figure it out and you make something of yourself yeah. or you you don't figure it out and then you're like lost yeah. to be like a like a you know a weirdo i don't know like, <laughs> you know what I mean? like you you gotta figure it out yourself like you know gotta go to school study blah, blah blah but like when you're a kid like discipline is highly built into your mental framework you know what i mean like mm-hmm. like even little things like make sure you kiss them all good night before you go to bed you know, something like that. Like that, that's what I had to go through and stuff. And like, or like uh, a an A. Why couldn't it be an A plus? And then A plus, good. Keep it that way. You know, it's <laughs> like it's like it was always just the highest standard. You're always like, ah. Oh. But I guess like at the same time, like it makes you rebel. Could go I, I think I, it 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 depends. So if you were raised in the East and everyone around you is doing the same kind of thing, true. Yeah, then it makes true. more you're sense, right, and right, you can relate right, to right. each other in that way. You're but right. when you're in the West and you're seeing other people being raised differently, and you're like, "How come oh, I got to go am I this? Going this Yeah, that's true. And then that causes the clash, and you want to kind of change. For rebel. sure, for sure, for sure. Right. Actually, what? All right. Well, which, which uh, is a great segue into the idea that like it's about your surroundings, because mm-hmm. like. Um, we, you and I both, we're neighbors, so we grew up yeah. in a, we grew up in a uh, predominantly 
um, Caucasian environment, right. I'd say, especially when we were younger. Now it's not really that way. It's becoming more like ethnic. But when we were kids, I remember when I was in elementary school, I was the only Filipino in that school. And then they're like, oh, Filipino. And like, I was like, oh, that's weird. Like, yeah. like, why am I the only one here? Is this even really a real race? Like, I was so confused, right? <laughs> and like, um, and like being like that, it's like you're the things that you not you had a natural proclivity towards, like like uh, anime or like yeah. uh, drawing mm-hmm. or thing to be into. Like you had to be into like uh, Western sports, like football, basketball, <laughs> right. uh, or play. You know. I mean, Xbox even games. even at that time too, like anime and stuff like that, right? Wasn't wasn't, wasn't that big, but we were watching it on the low key, you know, or down <laughs> low. Uh, but like, but like, yeah. even when I bought my uh, my first system, it was a not my first system. Like when it was PlayStation versus Xbox, right. like PlayStation was the only one that was out, so I got that one. But when it was like coming down to PlayStation versus Xbox, I chose Xbox because we were in a Caucasian area. Oh, I so I was like, okay, well, you guys like playing football, blah blah. blah. So like, we'll get Madden. You know, but then like I would watch like all these these Asian games come out yeah. like Final Fantasy. I'd be like, damn, I wish I could play those, but I chose Xbox. But uh, I chose Xbox because I was in that in in the predominant co- area where they would be all. Yeah, I see what you mean. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, like yeah, yeah. like our decisions were shaped. You know, but like right. now that we live in a more like Asian area, which I had no idea existed. Like we're like in North York, and like, mm. a lot a lot of Asians here, especially like affluent Asians, especially where we live. <laughs> yeah. um, that's why walking out, we saw those like Audis and like Ferraris. Like we live in a crazy rich Asian Like young, area. yeah, we live in a crazy rich Asian area. It's crazy, um, but like so, not that we're crazy rich Asians, but you know, yeah, it's yeah, like yeah, we're yeah. just surrounded by it. Just, and it's like, but it's okay to be like your own unique individual self. Like me, me liking like color, colorful stuff. Right. You know, like oranges and like yellows. It's fine. Because like they're going off way mm-hmm. harder. Like they're wearing anime gear. I remember like when I was in <laughs> high school, uh, one dude. There's only one guy in all of high school because I went to like a predominantly um, right. Uh, Af- Wait, how do you say it? Like African high school? Oh, African Canadian. It's not like, really. There's I, no African American. I, I, I went here, to. I, went I know to, what like, you mean. A, yeah. a you know. Well, I'm I'm not Caucasian. I can say I went to a black high school, so like it was, I think it was that's fine. <laughs> it's, it's primarily like black and Filipinos. Oh yeah, right? yeah, yeah. So I think like, mine was black too. So the Filipinos were either like super fob, and okay. like okay. or or they were uh, <laughs> Filipinos that tried to be black. Right. I was the weird kid because I came from like our area, so I was the Filipino trying to be white. Yeah. You know, so yeah, it's right. like, kind of weird. Oh uh, yeah. And like yo, you don't listen to rap music. I'm like, no, I'm listening to this like emo uh, screamo uh, stuff. <laughs> You know what I mean? I hated rap in the beginning, but now uh, I love it. See, I, yeah, yeah, I was, yeah, I was more around but you, the black community. You were, that's why I'm more into hip hop. Right, right, right. But, but but you went to a predominantly Caucasian high school after, yeah, right, after, 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 yeah, 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 but yeah. not in uh, your uh, formative years. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, so anyways, so there was only one dude that dressed like an anime character, two, and we were like, this guy's a weirdo. You know what I mean? Like. <laughs> But, like, now, living in this area, it's like, oh, no, they just do that. Right. Like that is, like, they just follow their creative yeah. desire, like, yeah. whatever it is they want. It's not weird to them. And so, like, even things like playing Pokemon Go, like, when when we're in Scarborough or, like, like me, me and my sister. Yeah, your I, encounter, I, you said, yeah, right? Yeah, if I bust out some Pokemon Go, I get some weird looks, right? Mm. I was in Pickering. Some dude stopped us. Like, you're playing Pokemon Go? I'm like, yeah, man. Like, I live in North York, so they still <laughs> play it. Oh, okay. She wants some love. There you go. Hold on. Dogs need love too. So, um, so yeah. So yeah. I was like to the guy that stopped me. I was like, yeah, I, I play. Um, I live in North York, so like you know they still play it. And then this guy was like, <laughs> it's so funny. He's like, he's like, oh, are you are you ch- uh, Chinese? And I was like, oh no. He's like, because you got that Korean look about you. And well, I was like, what? I was like, wait, wait, but those are two different <laughs> cultures, sir. <laughs> Yeah, you know, but like in that area, like if that's all you're, if, it, if that's all you're surrounded by, like that's that's the perspective you're gonna right. receive, yeah. like, you know. Um, and so, anyways, and then like if you're in Scarborough and you're playing Pokemon Go, like all the hood people are gonna be like, "What the hell?" Mm. But you know what's weird? I just read Outsiders, like I finished reading it, and like uh, I went to uh, a place in Scarborough, like basically where I went to high school, yeah. to like pick up some pizzas because it had like cheap. I think ghetto pizza is like really tasty because okay. it's like very oily, cheese good, <laughs> right. you know, thin crust. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All because you know they're trying to 
Key Coslo thin crust. You know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, but anyways, so I was there, and then like these dudes were like looking at me, kind of odd, because mm-hmm. I because now I'm in North America, I get these like bright shoes, wearing swimming trunks, but I always wear swimming trunks, and they're just kind of like, what's this like? Where's this guy from? Like you got that kind of feel of like he's not around here, right? You know what I mean? And it's like when we separate ourselves in these different like niche circles, it's like you. I feel like you gotta find your place, or mm-hmm. you know what I mean. Like, there's a lot of diversity in in Toronto. Yeah, I feel, and like seeing things like Crazy Rich Asians, it's like it's it is there. Mm-hmm. You just have to be in it, you know. Right. Yeah. So it's not weird playing Pokemon Go around here or wearing no or wearing bright shoes. Not at all. People love it. They just they all congregate. There's a lot of them. But yeah, I don't know. What What are your thoughts? Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, I think I enjoy it. It's just, like, hitting all the, the tro- like, you know, as I said, the tropes and everything, right? Like, yeah. Um, but, I, like, I knew, like, going in why there's a lot of, like, uh, anticipation about this movie or, like, how is it going to be represented and things I, like that. I was kind of like, oh, it's kind of like a racist movie. That's why I didn't want to watch. It's like well, this looks kind of like dumb. Oh, no, no, because because I knew I had no idea it was. Gonna yeah, yeah, like yeah. Because because you know? I I heard it, but heard of it like that was you just said like the the like Black Panther of the of for the, the Asians. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. yeah it really was. was like, yeah, yeah. That's that's why I knew. Pa- oh, quick pause. Even like the subtlety of him being polite. Remember when he's like he's trying to propose to her? Spoiler alert! He's trying to propose to her yeah. at the very end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember, and then like there's all these people in his way. You could have taken that so many different ways, mm-hmm. being like, "Sir, get out of my way," or like, "Dude, don't you see I'm doing something here?" But he was like, "Oh, excuse me. Oh, do you want some help with your?" Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. I was like, "That's yeah, so yeah, Asian." Yeah, yeah. Like, so that's polite. See, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. It's 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 just you don't want to be disrespectful. Yeah. Asian, Asians are very <laughs> into respect, but like it's it's hard for. I guess that's also why like. I think that's why this movie did well because it, it, it there was a lot of tensions to see like how is it going to represent yeah like the Asian community and to have it do it this well yeah is, for sure for sure is uh, is super cool to see that for like, sure for sure, for sure. You, you know like the whole thing on the plane as he was moving by definitely yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. like those are they all hit the right points and, yeah, and yeah, for sure uh, it made sense like. It was a huge success. It, he, it worked. I, I was thinking too, like in terms of like respect and stuff. Uh, I could see why like Asians and like blacks like they they like congregate more together because they have a similar mentality. Like like how like they're like oh I gotta like 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 yeah. in the like the you know like the gosh, I don't want to use that word. Like, I'm trying <laughs> to think of a better word. I can't think of another one. But like uh, like in the, in the like in the ghetto hip-hop black community they're all like oh i gotta respect my parents you know like i'm afraid of like nobody in the hood i'm afraid of except my mama yeah that's all i got yeah and, but like in asian culture the exact same thing the right. only difference is that like it's it's affluence mm-hmm. you know like we didn't asians didn't have to deal with like ten thousand years of like slavery or whatever you know like right yeah so, that's but, a, but the respect uh, is still underlyingly the same so i yes. guess why yes you know not that they not that like you know caucasians don't respect their elders but it's not like a it's not a cultural thing, you know. Like like a good example is <laughs> uh, a good example is like when like when you're 18, you're out of the house, or right. or you're you're gonna put your parents in old folks' home. Mm. They brought that up in the oh, movie yes. too. Oh yes, yeah. What, like, did, what did they so say? How did they they're, bring like, that? they're like, oh, uh, they don't have family bonds in uh, America. Oh, that's probably why they put them in old folks' oh, homes. Oh yeah, and See, it was like that was... that's that's <laughs> so true. But like they didn't get it. like even even my I don't know if you have any grand grandparents. I do, yeah. But are, are, they're not in an old folks' home, right? They're not. No, like, no, no. It, it's like you're you're meant to take care of your elders you know yes whereas like in in like western societies it's more about like oh old is not hip it's not new it's not trendy it's not knowledgeable yeah right but like in mm-hmm. in eastern cultures like no no we learn from our elders and then we we pay respects to them for you know keeping us you know good while we were younger yes. yeah you know we don't forget about that it's, it's just really interesting because, like, I'm remembering all these moments growing up being, like, like oh, but I, I was very, like, Western-minded. Yes. You know, my parents get so upset at me. I'm like, why are you getting upset at me? But you're right. It's because that's all you saw every day. Yeah. But, like, if if everyone acted 
the same manner, you wouldn't be lashing out. No. You'd just be like, oh, this is this is how it is. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And it's it's wrong of of you one side to think they're correct over another. It's just how they evolved over time. Right. You know? Yeah. Yeah. They yeah. like that movie. It's super good. Like like how their freaking grandma was uh <laughs> was uh freaking uh what do you call that? She was like sitting on the throne or whatever and they're like, Oh, grandma's here and then like uh you know like they, yeah. they like everyone's like looking around. It's like that that is how it is, you know. Like, right. Yeah, I I think if you want a uh, look into the perspective of um, yeah, get a glimpse Asian of uh, yeah, exactly. And like that movie is like really spot on. So if you're like if you're thinking like oh there's no way it's like that, it's totally like that. <laughs> yeah, but like still even even being different versions of Asian, like you're Indian Asian, I'm like Filipino Asian. It's it's still it's di- still different. very it it's is similar, but there's like there's still things that I didn't encounter. I guess like. Actually, no, no, they're all this. Actually, it's they, very, I was say, very like, similar. No, it, it, it's similar, but it's just through a different form. Because I was like, oh, well, we didn't make dumplings. No, but we made, we made, uh, like that scene where they're all making dumplings. Yeah. I remember making um, food like that. It was, um, uh, what do you call those? Like, I totally forgot. Um, those, like, wraps with the meat inside. You know uh, wraps? Oh. Not wraps. Uh, it's like, and then you deep fry it. Sh- empanadas? Sh- no, no, no. Empanadas were another one, but. Uh, um, I can't remember <laughs> it. Sure. It's like, uh, uh, you should know. I don't, I don't know. Like, all right, well, whatever. It's like where, where they're all at the dinner table and they're yeah. making like that, those wraps for the party. Right. Oh, oh, quick pause. Even when, so like whenever uh, I have um, like a get together, even still, yeah. like I like to get more food than is necessary. Yeah. And then it, it like, it drives certain people like, you're like, like Western people, like kind of irritated, like you're wasting money, blah, blah, blah. And then they said in the movie, it's like, better to have more than think that we're cheap. <laughs> and I was like, that's totally, it's like, it's it's more awkward to be like, hey, we ran out of food than to be like, oh, keep eating, keep eating, keep yeah, eating, yeah, yeah, and yeah, throw yeah. that food out later. It's like, yeah. whatever, you know. I mean, even the keep eating, that's very much in, in Indian culture too. Yeah, exactly. Very exactly. much. It's like, if you don't have enough food, it's like, that's that's embarrassing. Yeah. That's like disrespectful yeah. on your yeah. yourself. <laughs> I mean, it's great. <laughs> really, really great. Um, yeah, it was yeah. super good. I, like, they're already greenlit. For number two? For number two. Uh, One minute. Uh, so, I'm not sure I understand. <laughs> because she... Was, She's know, not horrible. Yeah, I was, saying, <laughs> I was like, oh, maybe I shouldn't say that. All right, this, this is a, all right, anyways. We had a little cut from the dog. We had a little... We had a little um, uh, Siri interruption, but whatever, man, it is what it is. So, final, final thoughts. Final thoughts. Uh, I will give it. You know, I'm gonna change my score. Oh snap! This is a this is a changing score movie. And I think this is the only movie that you've ever changed your score on. Cause I enjoyed it a lot. Yeah, it was so good, and it was like it. There was no. I don't think I hated anything. I, I know there, there was there's like, nothing I mean, in it that was like no no, no I'm saying like because because like in in Asian cultures right it's like you want to be left with um, uh, politeness yeah right? so at the end of the movie there was no part there like I didn't leave the movie feeling like I felt good like yeah, yeah. like it's almost like you went to dinner with <laughs> someone and then they showed you a good time that's how I felt like after the movie mm-hmm. you know it wasn't like you know like certain like um, like a hitch, you know, they right. hitch, you're like, oh, but there's still so much unanswered and like, oh, why do they care so much about their lives? And like, blah, blah, blah. It's like, but, you know, this one felt very like proper, I'd say. Exactly. So uh, I'm going to mo- change it to, we'll make it a nine. We'll make nine. It. Ooh, snap. All oh, right. Yeah. If you're going to change yours, I'm going to change mine. <laughs> 750 out of cash. <laughs> uh, no, yeah, it's still 10 out of 10. It was, it was a great <laughs> movie. Definitely one to go see. I don't know if you are a Westerner, uh, will you appreciate as much, or if you are uh, of the... Right. Uh, I mean, I, I think it's something, you can learn something from here too, right? A little bit, understand the Asian culture. It really is right? the Asian Black Panther. Yeah. Like, there's, we didn't go through, Asians did not go through any hardship. We went through hardships within ourselves, like the Mongols fighting the Chinese the Japanese oppressing the Filipinos, like, yeah. like that's there, yeah.
like the respect is it's like we wouldn't talk about that right because that's just insulting to your <laughs> you know it's like why we why you got to bring up old stuff man you know right. what i mean like that it's like yeah yeah and i think like this gives a greater perspective towards other cultures as to how asians behave yeah and why they act the way they do mm-hmm. yeah true so until next time eat some top noodle ramen get some dumplings yeah those are, those are pretty good um every asian culture's got a version of dumplings yeah i'm still trying to remember I mean, what the thing was called <laughs> damn there's dumplings for chinese yeah. and japanese what is your one you have one, I too. would say, like, samosa, I guess. Samosas, yeah. That's what they mentioned in that show. Yeah, samosas. And then ours is, um, <laughs> man, it's like Shanghai. No, it's like, it's not even, it's like, no, Filipino. Uh, oh, it hurts me. It hurts me that I don't remember. Maybe we'll dub it in once you remember. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and blank. <laughs> and, anyway. and Filipino people have... That's where I'll insert it when I figure right. it out. Gotcha. No, I'm not going to insert it. But yeah, if you know what it is, comment it so that I can remember. Oh, we'll add it in the beginning. Yeah, yeah, true, true, true. Whatever, but all right, yeah. All right, so until next all time. Right. Next week should be a regular, regularly scheduled podcast. We can find more about Tesla not going private. Yeah, maybe. So go see this movie. Especially oh, yeah, for Asian. sure. Yeah. Yeah, it's a must watch. Wakanda forever. Uh, yeah. Shanghai forever. (laughs) All right. All right. Take it easy. Peace. Bye.